Hey, what's up guys? Gerard here with today's shave video. And today we're going to be shaving with Oleo Soapworks Wayo. And so this is a soap. Uh, you guys know that I love Oleo. I think I'm like one of the, uh, they're probably the company that I reviewed the most videos with. And so I'm going to be shaving with this today. Um, be talking about that. I'm going to be pairing it up with the matching aftershave splash right there. And then hardware, I'm going to be using the old trusty West Coast Shaving Multi Titanium Collection. Uh, this is the 84M. Uh, I think M is multicolored. And then, uh, I'm sorry, M is multicolored, and the 84 is referring to the weights, 84 grams. And this is with the closed combed head, all right, and with a Persona Lab blue blade. And the brush I'm going to be using, I have, I've had it soaking, is the West Coast Shaving, right there, let's pull that, there we go, West Coast Shaving Deranged Edition brush with the custom silver tip badger knot in there. Look at that, that's it's kind of going everywhere. Okay, cool, very nice. Okay, so let's get right into this. So this is the first time I'm using Weo. You can kind of see that's what it comes in. It is a four ounce tub. Okay, and this is modeled after a very popular fragrance, uh, Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb. Okay, and so in it, you're gonna get notes, primarily the, the top notes are chili, saffron, uh, leather, tobacco, vetiver. Um, and then mid notes, uh, they say are bergamot and grapefruit uh, with base notes of elemi, uh, or is it elemi, and uh, pink pepper. And so definitely spicy forward. I definitely get the tobacco. Um, as well as those like, you know, spice notes, um, some leather, um, I guess some of the saffron as well, and definitely the, the, the pepper in there, and as well as like vetiver forward. Um, I'm not, I can't say I'm really getting a lot of the bergamot and grapefruit, uh, but uh, the way I would probably describe this is more akin to a, um, like a, if you go to the store, like a Home Goods or any of those type of stores, and you see like a, a, can a scented candle, and the main note is tobacco, it's kind of like this very masculine, spicy tobacco scent. Okay, so um, I actually do have, um, uh, I got a sample of, of Spice Bomb recently. Um, I don't have it with me, um, I left it in another room. But I can tell you that if you like that fragrance, this is definitely um, a very uh, accurate, inspired representation of that of that fragrance. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, this is um, Oleo is of course known for their canard base, their duck fat base. So it is a definitely a very firm soap. Um, I've already had my brush kind of soaking and kind of gonna just not necessarily bloom it per se, but I have the sink here full of water and just kind of like going to go in it just a little bit, just a little bit of a dip initially and then just go for right from there, okay? So I figure I've used um, Oleo soaps quite a bit um, and I, I think I would say I'm pretty familiar uh, with their product in general. And so I kind of know how to get the type of consistency that I like, okay? And I've just kind of been working at it right now. You can kind of see it's like this brush, it's, I don't know if you'd consider it a stubby um, per se, but it's definitely just a very, getting this very nice, I can't even, uh, it's very voluminous, definitely. Um, let me see if I can get a picture of the kind of after stuff in the tub in here. Okay. And you'll see it. So, okay. So I think that's pretty good. 
I think I got definitely a very, very good amount in here. Okay. You can kind of see all around, and I already know that's going to be more than enough. Okay, so I'm going to use, you can kind of see, or maybe even get some of my finger. Um, very thick, you can see, very voluminous, very nice. Oh, so, what was I going to say? Um, I showered this morning, it's evening right now, so um, I didn't shower before the shave, and I forgot to mention what I'm going to do as a pre-shave is, I just have a generic tub here of coconut oil, and so I'm going to use that as my pre-shave along with some of the leftover lather that's here in the tub. Um, it's not any, it's like just regular coconut oil that you can get in the store. Kind of soften up the face a little bit, I guess. Just shaved yesterday, and so, or maybe, maybe a little over, like, yeah. Uh, actually, I shaved the other day. So, okay, so got some coconut oil in there, and then let's use some of this. Okay, so first thing is first. Um, definitely a very strong scent. Okay, I like, for me, I like scents that definitely have a good lasting power. I find that other Mm. that certain certain soaps, certain fragrances will definitely last longer. Citrus scents are more, uh, uh, they leave quicker. Um, the spicy ones um, tend to last longer. So this, um, Olio also has Excursion, which is based off another fragrance, La Nuit de Lome. Those are both very spicy scents. And so they're very, very prominent, and I feel like their lasting power is gonna be significant. Okay, so let's just go. I already put so much, but I'll just go. Hmm. Modern. Love this. This brush. Love this badger brush, okay? Um, like a lot, I would say, of badger brushes, if you just want to like really start to keep on developing, um, oleo soaps, uh, they, I don't want to say they require a lot of water. Um, I'd say they're moderately thirsty, but you can just add a little bit in there and just go for it. Definitely like whipped cream. Almost, um, let's say almost like a marshmallow fluff, but not quite as sticky. Okay, and so here we go. Let's see. Um, so Spice Bomb, as far as the scent is concerned, I know that with usually spicy scents or fragrances, they're very much characterized as a cold weather, night, uh, or nighttime type of uh, fragrance, and I would probably agree with that. Maybe fall, even. Okay, um, I don't know if there's something you want to smell 
in the summertime or when it's warmer. At least for me, I don't prefer that. But this is definitely a very spicy tobacco forward. Probably one of the best um, tobacco scents that I can remember using. pretty good. Okay, not too much tugging. Sometimes I feel like if I don't prep well enough, um, I will experience a lot of the tugging, but I don't feel too much of that right now. If I just kind of go at it. Salud! I don't know if that came on the microphone. That's my wife who just sneezed. But I think the mics on here are pretty sensitive. So for those of you who are new to this channel, welcome. I have no idea based upon the views. I know, I don't know about the other Daily Shavers, but I tend to be um, a little bit egotistical and I try to spot, you know, like how my videos do compared to others. Um, I know others are, are more active on social media, and so, um, fair to them, they get more views because they either post it or people just like, like following them. But, yeah, if you're, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. So what I'm doing, because my hair doesn't really grow, um, incredibly thick or incredibly fast or anything like that. Um, I know a lot of technique they'll say do the short strokes, you know, very light and everything like that. And that's okay. You know, I do do that most of the time. But there are times where I'll just go straight from neck all the way up to the cheek. And just like one long like mowing, lotion, um, mowing motion. And so you can puff up, uh, Abraham actually taught me that technique about like kind of puffing up your bottom lip if you want to get some of those like hairs right there like to like make it more pronounced. You can also do it on your upper lip. Actually I thought I was going to feel more tugging there and I didn't so Pretty happy with that, actually. All right. Mm. Um, okay. And finally, can I just Let's get the lighter in here? I got some of the. Residual lather on the other side. Let's see if I can build this up again. Mm. 
little hot, there we go. So, I am definitely enjoying the this scent, okay? Vita, if you're watching, very nice. I recently reviewed 40, which is based off Tom Ford's effing fabulous. It's not really effing, it's another word that I think I'll get in trouble if I say it on YouTube. Although I did say it on the other video, but I like the scent so much. I ended up picking up the EDT, which is great. Okay. I think one nick in there, not too bad. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. And now with the splash. Now I check the splash out before, and I just have a feeling this is going to last a while. Yeah. Um, no, it's alcohol based. There's definitely burn in here. Yep. It's number one. There's also witch hazel. There's also vegetable glycerin, some aloe vera, so some nice uh, skin uh, softening and healing nutrients in here. So let's go. Let's check this out. Hmm. Okay. I want to say I'm actually getting more of the, the saffron and vetiver notes in the splash. I mean, there's some of that tobacco in there, but actually that kind of mellows out the, it's a little bit more mellow than, than the soap off the tub. Okay. Um, but still great. Very nice. Um, initial burn for like maybe three, four seconds and then goes away and feels great. Okay. Well, that was it guys. I just want to thank you for joining me for this video. Um, what I'll do is, um, some of you guys, uh, you know, have questions in regards to like the splashes, like, are they as good as certain colognes and on, or EDTs or, or even perfumes and on paper, they're not really supposed to be. There's supposed to be a limited amount of the fragrance oil in there, but I'll kind of let you know this, the staying power. It's, it's evening right now, so um, maybe I'll go to bed, wake up, because when I send uh, the write-up, um, I'll write in there, in the description below, um, if it lasted, you know, like in the morning, do I still smell it, okay? Um, but otherwise, I think you can probably get a good couple of hours two or three hours in here. This will definitely like, if you use this in the evening, it'll definitely like last you through the night. Okay. But again, um, thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, anything, leave a comment down below. Um, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing, uh, smash the bell notification. Uh, if you really love everything, but, uh, we'll see you guys. See you, we'll see you guys in the next one.